Hello everyone. So this is a very short audio on the management of uh, molar pregnancy for uh, the simulated patient task. And um, I have discussed the management in a patient friendly language. And again, I have avoided the use of any medical jargon. So regarding the management of complete molar pregnancy, we all know we will be offering the patient suction and evacuation. So when we are discussing about this uh, <coughs> procedure, we will be telling the patient about the procedure in detail, the risk, the complications, and the further follow-up. And while describing the procedure, we can draw, right? So tell the patient that, uh, so Kate, uh, uh, regarding uh, the management, I would like to tell you that this type of pregnancy is managed by an operation. And uh, in this, a small tube will be inserted into your womb, through the neck of the womb, and pregnancy will be removed by suction. This is done after putting you to sleep, and uh, it will be done by the senior or my consultant. Generally, it's a safe procedure, but there are some risks, and these include risk of pain, infection, bleeding. Sometimes bleeding can be so severe that you may need blood transfusion. There can be risk of injury to the neck of womb or womb itself. If this happens, we may need to do a keyhole surgery in which a small telescope and camera will be inserted inside uh, your belly button to see inside your tummy and pelvis. Or you may need an open surgery in rare uh, circumstances. After the surgery, pregnancy remains will be sent to the lab for testing. And after that, discuss with her about the further follow-up, okay? that why it is important, where it is done, how it is done, and the duration. So tell her that uh, after the surgery, we will be offering you the further follow-up. Uh, this is to make sure that pregnancy cells have cleared from your womb, because if the cells remain in your womb, then I'm sorry to tell you that there is one in seven chance that it may progress to a rare form of cancer, that is choriocarcinoma. I really don't mean to scare you, but I want to make you aware how important it's to have follow-up. For follow-up, you will be registered in one of the specialized centers, uh, London, Dundee, or Sheffield, whichever is near to you. Follow-up will be provided by the experts and your pregnancy hormones will be measured in blood and urine. How it will be done? So you will again explain to her that the center will provide you with a kit. It will be posted to your house for the urine test. Your blood tests will be done with the GP. Regarding duration of follow-up, this will depend upon when your pregnancy hormone levels become normal and we will give you written information regarding this. So Kate, would you like me to tell you in details about the duration of follow-up? If she says yes, then tell her that follow-up is for six months. If pregnancy hormones becomes normal within 56 days of your operation, if not, then follow-up is for six months from the date of normalization of pregnancy hormone. Then discuss with her about the contraception and future fertility and pregnancy. Tell her that, uh, Kate, you will be advised to use contraception and avoid pregnancy until follow-up is complete. Because if you will get pregnant, then we will not know whether rise in pregnancy hormone level is because of the smaller pregnancy or new pregnancy. And uh, many women, about 99 in 100, will have a next normal pregnancy. Same type of pregnancy can occur in 1 in 100 women. So when you get pregnant next time, see your GP as early as possible for a scan to confirm that pregnancy is normal and inside the womb. Am I clear so far? Do you have any questions? So Kate, I'll be giving you the written information leaflet about your condition. And if you're ready for surgery, I will be also giving you the consent form. You can go through it and sign it. Before the operation, we will be offering you the blood test to check your blood level, confirm your blood group, and see how your liver and kidney are working. We'll also be informing my consultant, the operation theater, and the blood bank. And we'll also give you the support group's number. Am I clear so far, Kate? Do you have any questions? Would you like me to repeat anything? Thank you. I hope this helps. I have tried to make it as simple as possible uh, because uh, like 
when you will be discussing the management uh, with the patient it has to be very simple in a patient friendly language we will not be using any medical jargon and uh, we have to keep it as simple as possible right i hope this helps thank you so much